Hi, in this video, I will be talking about making Drosophila mutant using P element mutagenesis. Before understanding how we create the mutant, we should understand why we create the mutant. So, in my earlier videos, I talked about how we can create a knockdown or overexpression using our RNAi. But RNAi has a problem. RNAi could be off-targeted. I mean, RNAi could lead to off-targeted effects. So that is why if we get some phenotype in RNAi, then we need to make a mutant. And if this mutant also show similar type of phenotype, then we are confident about our decision. So that is why we need to create Drosophila mutant using p-element mutagenesis. So let's jump into what is p-element. So p-element basically is a transposon. So you can see this is the basic structure of a p-element and transposon means jumping genes. So in this uh, schematic you can see p-element has a particular region which code for a particular gene and you can see inside of it there is a sequence which codes for an enzyme which is known as transposase and these transposase would actually help this P element to jump from one location to another location. Another important feature of these P elements are it has terminal inverted repeats and then if we look into the mechanism what happens in the normal cases then we could understand how we could use this system and in order to create mutagenesis. So, in normal conditions, let's say this is a P element sitting over here in this genomic location. So, it has its own gene sequence and it has its own transposase sequence. It can give rise to transposase. So, this transposase represented here as green would actually help this red transposon to hop and this red transposon would actually jump from that location, it would break from that location and it would nucleophilically attack another portion of the chromosome, another maybe another gene represented here in blue. So after it attacked, so this red transposon disrupt that particular gene and get inserted into that location. So this is the basic mechanism of P element mutagen P element uh, properties and how the P element can hop and get inserted into a new genomic location. But it is very important to understand that whatever uh, technique we are using in Drosophila, it's a little bit different from the real time scenario. So this particular technique is known as imprecise excision. So in the earlier condition, we see that this p element is able to make transposase but here our p element which is sitting near a gene gene of interest and uh, the gene that we want to mute it is actually transposase deficient i mean it can't produce its own transposase so and uh, that is why it needs help from other sources which can produce transposase and so let's jump into a fly cross. So here is our simplistic cross. So these cross doesn't represent the real real time scenario, but it's conceptually correct. So I would make a video on the detailed cross and how this works. So, but the basic concept is one side you have to have a P element line and on the other hand side you have to have a transposase line because remember in the p element line whatever p element you have which is sitting near a gene is defective that means it can produce its transposase so that is why this p element line need the help of these delta uh, uh, transposase line it helps this p element line requires a help from other uh, transposase in order to jump so in the right hand side you can see this fly it has a uh, delta 2 3 tra transposase and why delta 2, 3? Because whatever transposes this fly have, it's actually defective. So now the whole bottom line is our P element is defective, our transposes is defective. 
So that is why if we get back into our uh, diagram, what we would see that when the ex when the excision is happening, it's imprecise. So you can see this uh, delta 2, 3 transposes, which are represented as green, would actually cut this red uh, transposon and it would help it to jump. But as this delta 2, 3 transposes is defective, this cleavage may not be precise. It's very important to understand this cleavage may not be precise. That means imprecise excision could lead to a portion of a portion of gene uh, to be jumped and to be hopped out of its own location. So you can see here is a whole uh, uh, gene in orange. So this orange uh, gene is preceded by this particular p element of interest and if we uh, we are able to jump this p element with these particular delta 2 3 transposes then what we would find that a portion of the gene may be uh, jump along with this particular transposon but this is a chance factor maybe in one condition it could jump along with the gene maybe in one condition the excision is precise so that is why in the F1 generation, when you establish the P element mobilized line, you have to do a mass cross. And then from these P element lines, maybe 400 or 500 lines, you have to screen. You have to screen and find your mutant. You have to fish out of all these lines and you have to find your mutant. So in order to do so, you can perform a PCR based screening. So you would expect that a portion of your gene is actually uh, removed with that particular P element. So your gene would be now truncated, but you don't know where the break occurs. That is why you have to perform, uh, you have to use a series of reverse primer, but only one single forward primer in order to do a PCR screen. And let's say you get a band which is truncated and which is uh, downward so you may infer that there is a deletion and this particular band is corresponding to your uh, mut uh, your mutant and then you have to characterize that and sequence that in order to confirm the mutation and then also you have to check for the phenotype and you can see uh, you have to do all this experiment with respect to a control and if you want to learn more about how this PCR screening works then I would make a different video on that. But for now, this uh, concept would illustrate uh, a basic mechanism how these uh, P element mutagenesis system could be used to produce Drosophila mutant. And the whole process is actually imprecise excision. That means excision of the P element, which is quite imprecise, and it would take a portion of a chunk of the gene with along with it and thus creating a deletion mutation so if you like my video give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments below and please subscribe to get more such videos thank you